It's Kathleen from AdWords. Having the right keywords is key to getting your ads to show on relevant searches. But what if you're not sure which ones to choose? That's where Keyword Planner comes in. This free AdWords tool can help you build or expand your search network campaigns. Keyword Planner makes it easy to find the right keywords by helping you research keywords that might be relevant to your product or service, landing page or product categories, and to get historical statistics and traffic forecasts. In this video, we'll show you how to use Keyword Planner to search for new keywords and ad group ideas, see how popular certain keywords were in the past, and learn how well they might perform in the future. Want to follow along in your account? Click Try It Now to get started. To access Keyword Planner, visit adwords.google.com forward slash Keyword Planner and sign in to your account. You can also access Keyword Planner from the Tools drop-down menu in your account. Now, let's look at how to get new keyword ideas. Let's say for a used car campaign. Select Search for new keywords using a phrase, website, or category. Fill out one or more of the boxes that appear, including phrases or words related to your business, as well as your website URL, can give you more focused, relevant ideas. Then click Get Ideas. Next, you'll see a list of keyword ideas sorted into ad groups. You can also see these same keyword ideas by clicking the Keyword Ideas tab. You can decide which one to add to your plan based on which keywords are most relevant to your business and by looking at overall trends in the graphs and reviewing the historical statistics in the table. Click the double arrows to add an ad group or keyword idea to your plan. When you're done building your plan, click Review Forecasts. You'll see a graph with several estimates like clicks, impressions, average position, and cost. You can use this information to help set your bid. When you're ready to save your keywords, click Save to Account. To start serving your keywords, you'll want to make sure that you've created ads for your campaign. Next, let's take a look at how to get new keyword ideas by combining multiple lists of your keywords. For example, maybe your used car dealership has several locations. You can have one list of keywords just for locations and another that describes your business. Start by clicking multiple keyword lists to get new ideas. Enter each list of keywords in the list one and list two boxes. To multiply more than two lists, click the X to add more boxes. Next, choose whether you want traffic forecasts or search volume for your new keyword phrases. By clicking the appropriate button, we'll combine your keywords from both lists to get new phrases, like New York used cars. To get detailed forecasts, set up a bid using the bid graph or the text box at the top of the page. Now let's look at another way to use Keyword Planner. Let's say you already have a list of keywords and you want to find out how popular they are. You can see how your keywords have performed by clicking Get Search Volume Data and Trends for a list of keywords or group them into an ad group. Enter your list of keywords, one per line or separated by commas. These keywords won't be added to any of your existing campaigns yet. Click Get Search Volume. Next, you'll see historical statistics, like monthly search volume or competitor domain data in the Keywords Ideas tab. You can also see these keywords grouped into ad groups by clicking on the Ad Group Ideas tab in your results. Perhaps you want to get estimates of how your keywords might perform and how much they might cost. To do this, click Get Click and Cost Performance Forecasts. Enter your list of keywords or upload a CSV file. Then click Get Forecasts to see the performance forecast for your keywords. And that's it! Ready to use Keyword Planner? Click this link to get started in your account today. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll get all the latest AdWords tips videos. And if you have any questions, you can post them in the comments section. Thanks so much for watching!